country, they were on the fast track of improving, and then Obama happened, and things ain't been the same. There's been so much hatred and division. I do not remember growing up thinking about whiteness and blackness this much. Like, I didn't even think in those kinds of categories. I was like, okay, that's a white person. Okay, I'm a black person. I was like, okay, whatever. Unless someone had personally did something to me that I could demonstrate was done on the basis of partiality from, from an ethnic perspective, I didn't think about race relations like this. I didn't. It wasn't until Obama came in office that he starts stoking these flames of ethnic division and now the country, we can't seem to bounce back from it. So the idea that I can use my voice and see, I can say things that other people can't say, meaning I'm a black woman, so they can't call me a white supremacist. That doesn't even make sense. I'm a black woman. I'm a Christian. I named the claim, I named the name of Christ. So I have every right to rebuke them sharply in the presence of all. I can do that. Three, not only am I black and I'm a Christian, they can't even impugn some sort of ill motive to say, oh, you, you, you taking right wing money. Where is it? Where? Show me the checks, please show me the checks. The idea that I actually have these thoughts and opinions and I've derived them from my own brain is so difficult for so many people to understand, but it is, it's the truth. This is what I believe. And I believe it from, it's a deeply held conviction of mine. And not only that, they can't say, oh, well, she only saying this because she married to a white dude. Pump the brakes. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with my vanilla brothers. But um, I, that's not true. That's not true. I got a black husband with four black babies. Okay. Even a little light, little yellow one. He knows, you know, you black now, right, son? Yes. He knows that he is a black American. He knows. So whatever they try to say to try to invalidate what I am saying I am using the platform that the Lord has given me to say the things that need to be said. Why? Because believe it or not, I actually love my kinsmen according to the flesh. That would be other people that look like me. And I don't just have some special love for them that I don't have for others. I love my white brothers and sisters too, who for so long, their, their voices have been muffled because they've been wanting to say something to their other brothers and sisters in Christ who don't look like them, but they were afraid of being called racist, so they said nothing. And so this live stream is for them too, because they need to unleash the need to please all of these other people out here who don't have a heaven or hell to put them in. And then the video also exists to call my brothers and sisters according to the flesh, the ones who share my ethnic image, to call them to repentance. Because at the end of the day, this is a sin problem. Discord amongst believers, brethren, comes from the pit of hell. And so either what he said was true or it's not. Deal with the actual words and not try to ascertain the energy, where it's coming from, trying to discern his heart to determine if he's racist or not. What evidence do you have of that? You don't. You have no evidence. You're just saying it because he stepped on your toes and that conviction of the Holy Spirit was too much like right. So what did you do? You suppressed the truth in your unrighteousness and you doubled down on the wickedness and the evil that you support, which is actually an indictment on you. That's what it is. But else, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Standard of Truth podcast. If you've enjoyed today's conversation, don't forget to check out the Standard Home and Living Lifestyle Store at standardhomeandliving.com. We've got everything from book studies, journals, and even podcast merch. So you can take a piece of this conversation with you wherever you go. And of course, be sure to follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram, and TikTok for more updates, behind the scenes, and daily insights. You can also stay connected at the Standard of Truth Podcast.com, where you'll find all the latest news and events, including live events, coming to a town near you. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Until next time, keep standing firm in the truth. Grace and peace. <laughs>